our live game from the MX this evening. Well, there's still some work to do in the transfer market to get this team to a title winning team, which has to be Manchester United's ambition. So definitely a step in the right direction. Some of the players are progressing year on year, month on month, but there's still more need, a lot more need. I think three or four players of high quality of the Bruno Fernandes type that would need to get them to a point whereby they can start to challenge. Not Manchester United's recruitment policy had lost direction uh, in the way in which they were approaching it. What I would say is I'd urge a word of caution. Manchester United are sixth in this league. They've got a squad that's definitely improving with young players that I think the fans like, but there's still some work to do in the transfer market to get this team to a title winning team, which has to be Manchester United's ambition. So definitely a step in the right direction. Some of the players are progressing year on year, month on month, but there's still more. want to give the pass the ball to Paul of them, yeah. how, how important for you is Matic in that midfield, Patrice? It's really important, sorry. For me, uh, uh, Matic, uh, at the beginning of the of the, the season, he was one of my, the, he, for me, was the best midfield of uh, United. And we forget to talk about him. And uh, Matic, with his experience and the way he's like really composed with the ball, so he will do the hard work and let Paul and Fernandez enjoy like more in the form. Patrice, as you said earlier on, it. Well, they're going to show talk, didn't they, about exciting and important games in the run in. And Bruno Fernandez already finding space in what is a congested area of the pitch. To Shane Duffy to get back and get it into the ball through midfield. It's a lot better. Connolly, fouled by Victor Lindelof. That's what he's up there for. No centre of gravity. Tariq Lamptey, but full of skill. And Gail Stevens just leaning back as he went to take that one on. Both busy players. Let's uh, flag up on this near side there. And ball against Aaron. That's his pass. It wasn't a bad one, but Ryan was out swiftly. It's worked back to Pogba. Now Bruno Fernandes. And Pogba on the follow-up puts it over. And so they can get an opener here. Excellent work from Rashford. Marshall by Byrne. He just find... he would have slipped away. And Greenwood finds the back of the net. The pressure was building. And Mason Greenwood steps up to give Manchester United the lead. I spoke earlier in the game, why Mason Greenwood? Because of that, he can operate in tight spaces, he can receive the ball on the back foot, the first part of it is brilliant. When Basaka gets it and he just pushes that pass, you have to do that when you're playing against the... Rashford. Pogba, caught late by Basuma. And this... Make that number 28. It's a disappointing one. Fernandes to play this one in Maguire. He's up there for the header, having got the winner of the week. So Pogba, who thought of the shot, first time. Fernandes needs no invitation and puts it in the back of the net. Manchester United here, two up, and Bruno Fernandes strikes with his fifth Manchester United goal since his signing from Sporting Lisbon. He actually didn't hit that one quite as well. We'll see whether or not there's any offside in the build-up to this. Great run again from Luke Shaw, getting to that byline. Brighton for the first time almost just baring their teeth. Lamptey trying to get there first, he's quick, but not that quick, he's just gone out. Just with that little cross over there, when Luke Shaw just skips behind Lamptey as he's getting to move. Here's Rashford, looking for his first goal since the restart, that won't be it. Likes that, doesn't he, Marcus Rashford? Good at that too. Picked it up again, in that dangerous area from Whipper. End of the half, Brighton looking for some kind of payoff on that back post. Dan Byrne was up there, yeah. there's a collision between a couple of the Brighton players through to Rashford to Martial just took it a bit wide a little too wide very slick football they changed the pace of the attack in an instant there all for it is exactly like that routine training session this so far what is Graham Potter going to do about it at half time they'll have to have a good chat and a good think won't they no, there's not a tremendous amount Manchester United Fernandes with the free kick that will be half time Mason Greenwood half Canvas coverings on the seat saying up the Albion, seagulls. A little bit more. It looked a bit overly cautious it's for a approach it's in the first half, really. Curled in. Duffy was trying to get his head around it. He has uh, scored some. Montoya joining the attack. Not clear. The Greenwood has. Are they going to make them pay for this? You bet they are. Fernandes again. He doesn't miss them, does he? Classic counter attack, and Bruno Fernandes finishes it all off. 3-0 Manchester United. Yeah, that's, the, that's the downside of trying to be positive, of trying to push people forward. Is that United have so much pace and so much quality on that counter-attack. You can see they're defending in numbers, the red shirts. At the minute, Harry Maguire makes first contact with that header and that brilliant sweep and pass. Goes wide left 
Ross came for it, got it from Pogba straight away. The only player who's been a bit quiet for Manchester United is Martial. That could change. Well, he's had a couple of goals, Bruno Fernandes. He's actually passing tonight. It hasn't been his free kicks.